I Anjali Kashyap of class 11 from CRK Public School Rohini is going to brief you about it, how maths and music are correlated to each other. Now maths and music are two entirely different fields of study but there is a strong correlation between them. Numbers can tell us more about music. It sounds weird but it's true. Music is divided into sections that are called measures where each measure has equal amounts of beats. This is comparable to mathematical divisions of time. Now, each piece of music has a time signature, which gives us rhythmic information, like how many beats are there in each measure. All the music notes have numerical connections and number of beats. You can use different mathematical phenomena in music. These include geometry, signal, signal processing, differential calculus, and even trigonometry. Now, Though ancient Chinese, Indians, Egyptians, and Mesopotamians are known to have studied the mathematical principles of some Pythagoras of ancient Greeks, were well, the first researchers known to have investigated the expression of musical scales in terms of numerical ratios, particularly the ratios of small integers. The central doctrine was that all nature consists of harmony and arising out of numbers. Equal temperate scales are there, which have octave intervals which are equal on a logarithmic scale which result in perfectly evenly divided scale but with ratios of frequencies which are irrational numbers just scales are built by multiplying frequencies by rational numbers result in simple ratios between frequencies but the scale division that are uneven many composers have incorporated the golden ratio and fibonacci fibonacci numbers into their work now in the last, I would like to show you a clip of Sound of Pi. You heard it right. Sound of Pi. That Pi is very common. It also has a sound. I hope you would like it. Thank you.